What's up guys, it is I, once again, Yusuf al Senad, and today guys, I want to talk about and review Tom Moore's 2014 animated feature length fantasy drama, Song of the Sea. The original story for Song of the Sea was written by Tom Moore and was later adapted for the big screen by Will Collins. I've never got the chance to talk about Song of the Sea with you guys and girls. Song of the Sea is an Irish film made by an Irish film company, and the entire film itself is set in Ireland and the story follows his family, a husband and wife, Connor and Brona, and their little boy, Ben. Brona is soon to expect a second child, a daughter, a daughter who would be named Saoirse, and Saoirse, like her mother, is a Selkie. Saoirse, however, is part Selkie. Due to Saoirse having both a human and a Selkie parent, she is part Selkie, and based on the many stories that Brona had told her son, Ben, when he was very little, these stories speak of a Selkie who is to free all the fairies, and the Selkie herself is to return to the sea as a seal. On the night Connor and Brona tuck their son Ben into bed, Brona soon disappears and runs away into the sea itself with her child uh, Saoirse. Since Brona is Selkie and her time in this world is close to an end, her only hope to save her unborn child Saoirse is to take her into the sea. Connor is too late to save his wife Brona, but her child is born, their child Saoirse. Connor is devastated by the death of his wife and he becomes a shell of his former self and is unable to take care of both Ben and Saoirse. So many years have passed since the death of Brona, Connor's wife and the mother of both Ben and Saoirse. Ben has grown to hate Saoirse. He blames her for their mother's death and for everything wrong that happens to them, he puts all the blame on Saoirse. Ben's mistreatment of his sister is something that really annoyed me guys. I was so frustrated and so angered by this young man, I couldn't stand his attitude towards his sister. I could not tolerate his attitude towards his sister as it is unacceptable and something his mother would be ashamed of him for because her mother's last wish before her departure was for Ben to become the best big brother to his sister Shirsha he could possibly be. I can understand how frustrated and angry Ben is towards his sister because his anger stems from the fact that he lost his mother at such a young age, he's just his sister and all the attention she gets from their father Honor. It's okay to be jealous and it's okay to feel angry towards someone for receiving more attention than you. That being said, it is not right how he treats his sister and the way he blames her for everything. He's supposed to be a big brother for her. He's supposed to guide her, protect her and love her and to cherish her the way a little sister should be cherished by their big brother. His attitude towards his sister really angered me but as the film goes on and as the story progressed, I started to care more about him and I started to understand him more and more and in the end I do empathize with him, his situation and the circumstance he and Saoirse are put into. The circumstance being their grandmother who they call Granny. She arrives in Connor's home and requests that he allows her to take his children and to bring them to the city where she lives in because she believes that they can have a proper a more happy life within the city. It's a very hard time for this family as they're going through a tough loss. Ben tries to run away back home to the lighthouse where his father is living so he can reunite with him and his beloved dog, his canine companion being Ku. What Ben does not realize is that uh, Saoirse tags along with him so they can both return home. As you can expect from Ben, he treats her very badly and every time she gives him that look of anger and frustration, it's the exact same feeling I have towards Ben. During their journey back home to the lighthouse, they encounter these three men. These three men who present themselves as fairies. Fairies who are among many that wish to return home and to do so they need the Selkie, that being uh, Saoirse, to sing them a song. Saoirse needs a coat, a coat they refer to as the Selkie's coat. This Selkie's coat is pale and white, the very same coat which their father has locked in a crate and uh, threw in the sea. Honor fears that his little girl Saoirse will suffer the same fate as his beloved wife Brona so he's trying to protect her. The story of Song of the Sea isn't just about Ben and Saoirse trying to free the fairies and return them back home. It's also a 
story about Ben trying to overcome his fears and his personal demons and to forgive himself for everything that has happened, everything that is wrong. He is not to blame for it, especially his sister Sirsha. All the pain, anger, frustration, sadness he feels, he has to learn to forgive himself and to let go. Pain is a part of human nature. It's a part of our growth for us to mature and to evolve and to grow. Ben's story of the struggles, pain and his personal demons he faced is something I do understand and something I do relate to. It's very ironic considering that I hated Ben in the beginning but as the story progressed I start to understand him, relate to him and feel for him. The story gravitates to me as I'm certain it gravitates to others. The animation is gorgeous. The performances from everyone from uh, David Roll who plays Ben to uh, Brendan Gleeson who plays the father Connor to Lisa Hannigan who plays the mother Brona to Fionn Nula Flanagan who plays the grandmother or granny as they call her and of course my favorite performance by everyone in the entire movie Lucy O'Connell as the adorable Saoirse she is fantastic as is everyone the music and song to uh, Song of the Sea is really beautiful guys it's not often I hear the Irish Gaelic language spoken in movies but to hear the language itself spoken in this film and the songs and music present it really was a wonderful experience guys I love the song so much and the one song that stood out to me it's the song Brona used to sing to Ben when he was very little a song which he had a very hard time to learn the very same song which Saoirse would come to learn and this song guys is absolutely beautiful I believe it's titled Song of the Sea there are no words to describe how stunning the animation is the animation looks so beautiful and just so breathtaking it's very articulate and detailed the way the animation is handled it almost reminds me of the tale of the princess Kaguya which was directed and written by Isao Takahata their animations are so different yet both are so stunning and so breathtaking I love both of them so much while I do prefer the uh, tale of the princess Kaguya I do really love Song of the Sea both films are so exceptional in the way they tell their stories the way the animation is handled the performances are just outstanding the biggest thing I took away from Song of the Sea despite how gorgeous the animation was and how beautiful the song were it's how pain is something that is a part of our growth and something that allows us to mature and to evolve and how we can never let pain control us this is made more clear when you learn the story of uh, Marka Marka being referred to as an owl witch she once had a son who she loved so much her son being Maclear and Maclear has lost someone dear to him I believe the person he lost was his beloved wife and so his mother Marka felt so sad for him and it killed her so much to see her son going through so much pain and she wished to end his suffering Marka loved her son so much and she does not want to see him go through any more pain Marka's story is something that really connected with me guys because for many years my mother has watched out and protected me and loved me the way any mother would love their child when everyone has doubted me and looked down on me she always held me up high and she always told me how proud she was of me and every time I endured more and more struggles she was always there to protect me and she was always there for me and always picked me up and always reminded me to be strong and to believe in myself and never doubt myself for one second no matter what others think that right there is the love a mother has for a child my mother may not know this guys but I love her to death we haven't been close in a very long time but she will always be among my greatest heroes if not my greatest I will never find anyone man or woman who will ever love me the way my mother loved me and this film really hit me hard guys it brought out an emotional part of me I never expected would uh, come out just like uh, the tale of the princess Kaguya did and of course inside out another animated feature-length film I love and song of the sea is a truly magnificent magnificent film guys it's something that I really do love and something I really do recommend you guys and girls check out it has a beautiful story the animation is stunning the music and song is so beautiful and everything about this film reeks of beauty I really can't give Song of the Sea enough praise but that's the end of my review to uh, Tom Moore's uh, Song of the Sea thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish and do check out my gaming channel where I do let's play series gaming content content, all kind of good stuff. Until next time, peace out, take care. Adios, amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.